Hello everyone, this is KingCon IoT. KingCon make open source IoT product. In this video, I will show you how to use this RF wireless sensor, like this door sensor, PIR sensor, or any other RF sensors, to control the relay controller output. Like this, you can use the door sensor, triangle, the relay is on, and also we can use the PIR sensor, we can power on. Now the triangle, uh, the PIR sensor, the relay is off. We can open this case, uh, just like this. The door sensor is triangle, relay is on. And my hand, the PIR sensor detects my hand is relay off. So you can like on and uh, off. So this is countering by the wireless uh, sensor. Just I have DIY uh, this. ES2 module uh, add this wireless receive module. Because you have this module for voice country, Alexa and Google, you just can use this black uh, the ESP8266 uh, um, Wi-Fi module. Uh, just uh, uh, this. This module. We can wind a wireless remote. Uh, just uh, I can give you see this is a wireless receive module. This is a wireless receive module. Uh, this is four pin. You can choose three one five megahertz or four three three megahertz. Uh, just up to you, which sensor you have used. If you use this three one five megahertz, uh, so you can choose this module is three one five megahertz. Uh, just the same frequency of two parts. Uh, this is a wireless receive module. I can show you. Uh, this have three pin. Uh, totally have four pin, but the uh, use for is VCC. Uh, the power is five watts, and this is RXT is the date uh, receive the date, and this is ground GND. So I have went the VCC to this VE. This V in is supply, five voltage supply for this pin. And this two pin is seen. I just receive the date. I have went the yellow line uh, to this D3, uh, D3 pin. D3 pin. Uh, this is the ground. Uh, ground the white wine have connected this uh, GND. So when I check this wireless sensor, the signal will go to this antenna and receive, and the module will output uh, the yellow line to this D3 pin. Then the ESP module will decode the wireless data. And when it decodes, then it can send the command uh, to the relay controller by the Ethernet. So it can send the command by the network to control the relay on and off. So this time, you will not must need uh, the voice module connect with the S232 point. You just let the module connect with the root uh, by the Wi-Fi. Just uh, uh, this connect the root, and uh, this relay controller connect the root. Is the thing root is okay? So let's look at how to use the Arduino IDE to write the program code. Uh, you can see this is our Arduino IDE because we use this right code and download to the ESP module. So this code I have read and upload to our form. You can uh, download from the DIY project. Uh, this is the topic. Uh, you can download this code. This is zip code and you can download and unzip. I have already uh, opened this Arduino source code. Uh, this before you use this code, uh, you need to add the library to support IF device. Just manage your library, so you will find uh, this RC switch. This RC switch means radio country switch. I uh, just this uh, because I have installed installed. This is operate uh, for three three and. Uh, 315 megahertz device, uh, just the two wireless receive module all support. Uh, you can install, and when you install, uh, you can use this uh, library, uh, this 
rswitch.h library. And this code is written by this uh, GitHub. This is the source code of the library. Uh, we can see uh, because we can see some details. Uh, we can see some details. Uh, just open this site. You will find uh, this is support. So how to choose the IF sensor? You just uh, like this as a code. Because the RC code is according to the different sensor. Uh, we mainly use the 1527 code. Uh, this is widely used for security sensor. Also, you can use uh, 2262. Uh, this is commonly used. How to confirm which code you have used? You can just uh, open your sensor. I can give you, for example, uh, get this PCB board. And this uh, chip. This is a code chip. This is EV1527. Uh, this is 1527 code. So this is, can be support this code. And the sensor need two settings uh, conferred. One is the frequency and the two is the code. So this is the door sensor we have used. And this is the PR sensor. We also uh, open this case. Uh, uh, how to confirm the wireless code? You can see this, this chip. Uh, this chip is for uh, this sensor, detect sensor. And this chip is for the code. So you can see this chip have print uh, EV1527 code. So this is also be support. OK, this is how to confirm whether your sensor have support by this library. When you have confirmed the library can be used, OK, uh, you just set some settings. Uh, you can see this. Uh, this is SSID and the password of your load. Uh, this set by yourself. This is our office SSID and the password. You just set for the uh, ESP module. And this is the relic controller. Uh, this is IP and this is the port. Uh, this is H32B relay controller because it has both Ethernet and the Wi-Fi. So we can use this Ethernet uh, work as the TCP server mode. Also, you can let set uh, the Wi-Fi work as the TCP server, just as up to you. So this is IP, Ethernet IP, uh, just this, uh, is as this one, and this part uh, is this part. So go on, we can see uh, this is the Wi-Fi setting. And uh, go to uh, this function. Uh, you can see I have read the code. Uh, if uh, the door sensor is triggered, it will turn on relay 1. And if the PR sensor is triggered, it will turn off relay 1. About this string is our relay control protocol. You can see our website. Uh, there are protocol details. So you can uh, copy any protocol you want to do with the relay controller. And we need to know what is the date of the sensor. Because uh, if this uh, door sensor and this PCI sensor, when tracked, will send different command and a different uh, date. So we need, need to know the date. Uh, we have two uh, this sentence. Uh, I have disabled. You can enable this. You can enable this. And uh, we can print the received date of the sensor. Uh, OK, we, we can download it to the ESP module. So when you're winding, uh, you just connect with this USB. You can remove from this green PCP not to use this one. And uh, we can choose uh, upload. Now you compare the sketch with for a moment. Uh, this toys, uh, you need to choose the device. The board is node MCU ESP, uh, just this board. And uh, choose this COM point that detect by your device manager in Windows system. This is our communication COM point. So now it's writing.
Okay, the writing complete. Then we can repower on. Like this, repower on. We can open the serial monitor. Now I have opened this monitor. Uh, we need to print this code. I print this date. Now I can use the DOS sensor. I have triangle. Triangle. Uh, you can see the red LED. Uh, that means it have sent the signal uh, to this module. And we can see this window have received. Uh, this is the code we have received twice. Uh, maybe it have sent many times. No problem. We just according receive this code for us. You can write down on your note notepad. This is the sensor. This is this code. Okay. Now we can test the PCI sensor. I can I can triangle this PCI sensor. I can try go again. Okay, you can see this window also is update another date. Uh, this is for PCI sensor. So we just uh, save this date. This is two date for different sensor. Uh, maybe you have used this wireless remote or like this uh, wireless panel. Uh, just uh, all use the RF frequency panel. So you can press the key or press the key, or you can decode uh, the date. Then we can save this date. I just, this time, I can disable the, this uh, sentence, not need to use. And this use this if command. Uh, I have read uh, because we have detect uh, this is DOS sensor, uh, this is this name number, and uh, this is PCI sensor uh, is this number. Uh, you can change this date uh, from your own sensor, just uh, change this date, and uh, change this command. Uh, what to do? Uh, turn on relay one or turn off relay one. So this is easy for detect any support, the library support the uh, RF sensor. You just, one, get the date, and two, change the if command uh, for yourself, for your function. Maybe you can uh, turn on all relay or turn on some relay on and some relay is off. Uh, just uh, change this command. Okay, this is how to use the sensor uh, to triangle the relay controller for output. Thanks for watching.